I am absolutely delighted to announce that our endoscopy units have been awarded full accreditation by the national body that monitors quality and safety. After a thorough and challenging assessment, the Joint Advisory Group have awarded us five years uh, accreditation. This is a significant achievement and should never be underestimated. The assessment that JAG undertake focus on some really key and important elements such as strict training, such as safety, such, such as access to our services. And we did really well in all those elements, including the fact that we had robust governance arrangements in place. As part of that assessment, JAG also commended the team working and the commitment of the staff within the endoscopy unit. Uh, who indeed over the last several years have achieved £1.4 million worth of investment here at St Helier and in addition a significant investment on the Epson site both to improve the physical environment for patients which will impact on, on experience as well. Before we started our JAG accreditation, we had two very separately run units, one on the St Helier site and one on the Epsom site. Um, they were run differently, they had different documentation, uh, a different way of nursing the patients, and part of this process, and the most important part of this process, is that we've made everything unison throughout the whole trust. The most important thing, um, if we hadn't achieved our JAG accreditation, we would have first of all lost all our trainee doctors because the deanery would not have allowed us to keep them which would mean that we wouldn't be able to treat as many patients as we do if we hadn't have trainees it would have been very difficult to even look after the patients we look after now um, also the local gps wouldn't want to um, refer their patients to us because they can see which sites are accredited and which sites aren't. There were two units which were completely separate, working separately, uh, with uh, the Epsom unit especially working uh, in jointly with the day surgery unit. So we, we changed all that through this process and streamlined it. And the training issues as well, both sides needed a lot of uh, trainers and trainees and we've streamlined that and all our endoscopists have are trained trainers now. How we achieved jagged accreditation was that we worked extremely well as part of a team and we all had we all trusted each other and had the same drive and passion and commitment to, to, to want to succeed and to improve the patient experience as well as maintain and improve patient wait times. We looked at um, standardising policies and procedures across the two sites, um, redesigning the unit so that we'd improve the patient flow and obviously privacy and dignity. One of the ways that we helped to achieve the project was bringing in the PRINCE2 methodology. Um, also, it was bringing in a lot of partnership working, stakeholdership working with other departments within the Trust. Um, for example, um, IT, very supportive, helping us um, with the upgrade of the endoscopy reporting system. Um, had a huge support from the IT director and the team, putting in um, and helping us get new equipment and the um, system tested and configured. And then with Estates, we had huge input with them with regards to the um, redesign of the unit. Patient, improved patient flow and um, you know even down to PALS where we had a lot of input with regards to patient information leaflets, improvement for those. Um, so the support across the trust was actually quite important to helping us achieve it. The checkpoint reports actually was the saving grace. A, a lot of time when we didn't have time to meet on a regular basis, um, we would use the checkpoint reports to keep track where everybody was with all the tasks, everything was outstanding. We rag rated everything um, and it actually drew everybody's attention to uh, meeting deadlines. All the managers who were involved in this project uh, were very honest, upfront, and uh, I think that they were also committed to getting this thing done. And that's the only way I could trust and they could trust me. Uh, whatever we said we will achieve, we, we were doing it all together. And I think that's why 
we managed to do this. Otherwise, we would not have done it. Uh, if there were there were hidden agendas, or there were people doing it, things behind each other's back, uh, then it doesn't work. It only works with commitment, openness, and trusting each other and talking directly to people. I found uh, was the key that when you go and talk to somebody, say, "Look, this is my problem. This is what I want. Uh, can you please help us?" I found very few people will say no. I mean, everybody who said, yeah, yeah, we can help you. We were given a task, something to achieve, and um, it was just, I think, the reason why we all gelled is that we have the same work ethos. We're giving a task to do, then we want to do it, but we just don't want to just do it, we want to do it well. And it, failure was not an option. I think in previous years, JAG accreditation wasn't um, near, near enough as intense and in-depth as it has started to be now. So I, I feel that initially there was a, a lack of understanding of the work that was required and how big the project actually was. And it, it needs to be understood that you cannot carry on your normal day-to-day -day work as well as deliver huge projects like this. There needs to be more understanding that you there needs to be support brought in a lot earlier um, and t when, once time was freed from everybody's commitments then um, the, the, you know, what we achieved was great. Mm. I'm sure all of you watching this will know that you don't just do one project you still have all your other jobs to do at the same time and although in the last few weeks we were all taken off everything else including Mr Raja who had all his clinical work taken away for a couple of weeks but without that we would not have been able to bring the project in. We have achieved uh, a lot, we have learned a lot and we have set up systems which will continue to continually require support so that we do not achieve a high standard for a short period of time and then slip back to bad old ways. I think it's important to, con to have that continued support, to keep this, uh, uh, this unit running at a very high standard uh, constantly forever. Everything about our service has improved since we started this project. The most important thing, I think, is the patient experience because, as we said earlier on, everything was done differently on different sites in the Trust. Uh, and now the patients are scheduled by the same team that are all in the same place and work as a team. But through speaking with the diabetic department and the diabetic doctors, we've done a whole new regime for the diabetic patients. So a great deal of them um, can now be at home to do their preparation and do not have to come into hospital, which is much better for them, much better for their diabetes and much better for the trust because it means we don't have to find hospital beds when they're not, not really necessary. Also, um, the actual environment the patients are looked after in is much nicer for them. It's all new. They all, we do single sex lists now at St Helier's and we will be doing the same thing at Epsom when they open so there's no privacy and dignity issues. Um, they have an ensuite enema room now, which is part of JAG we absolutely have to have on both sides. So it means that they have the perfect privacy. That we've got a system of uh, audits, ongoing audits, regular. So that's a cultural change completely. That we've got openness uh, and all the numbers and every every endoscopist, the procedures are looked at and and also patient satisfaction, pain uh, scoring. Everything is done on a regular basis, on an ongoing basis, uh, and that achieves a much better standard of care. And as part of this project, on both sites we have centralised the decontamination of all flexible endoscopes. So on the St Helier site we not only wash our own scopes, but we wash theatre scopes, ITU scopes and the scopes that come from the paediatric um, side of Queen Mary's. And on the Epsom site, again, when it opens, it will do central decontamination for theatres and ITU and also um, the elective orthopaedic centre. We all committed ourselves to making sure that this project was successful and we got our accreditation because we're all here because our, we're a hospital and we have patients who need to be cared for and we want our patients to be cared for to the highest standards 
so that they come into a clean, bright environment, they feel safe, they are safe, their privacy and dignity um, is upheld and that they get the highest standard of both nursing and clinical care. I think it was a big learning process for us and out of it has come a lot of good. Good for the patients, good for the staff, good for the whole unit and for the trust as, as well.